Hey everyone! I'm here today to tackle a crucial topic for any student diving into the world of behavior analysis. Understanding the difference between internal and external validity. Now this might sound a bit daunting, but don't worry, I'll break it down for you in a way that's easy to grasp. Let's start with internal validity. Internal validity is all about asking ourselves, is this study designed in such a way that it's actually testing what it claims to be testing? It's the backbone of any experiment, ensuring that the results are due to the independent variable and not some other factor. For example, if you're studying the effect of sleep on memory, you want to be sure that it's the amount of sleep affecting the memory scores, not something else like caffeine intake. Now, moving on to external validity. This one's all about generalization. It answers the question, can we apply the findings of this study to the real world? If a study has high external validity, the results can be generalized beyond the specific conditions of the study. So if you find out something about sleep and memory in a lab, can you apply these findings to real life settings? That's what external validity is concerned with. But here's a twist. Improving one type of validity can sometimes compromise the other. For example, by controlling all variables meticulously to boost internal validity, your study environment might become so unique that it doesn't resemble real-world settings anymore, thereby reducing external validity. And why does this matter for you as a future behavior analyst? Well, understanding these concepts helps you critically evaluate research, design your own studies, and apply findings effectively in practice. Whether you're writing a paper, conducting an experiment, or implementing behavior analysis techniques, grasping these validity types ensures your work is credible and applicable. So next time you're assessing or planning a study, ask yourself, is my study valid internally and externally? This simple question will guide you in creating robust and impactful research. Thanks for tuning in. And remember, stay curious and keep learning. Subtitles. Yes. Hey everyone, please like and subscribe. And...